So there is a new buzzword in town and that is Web 5.0. Now in this video, we are going to discuss in detail what exactly that is and how it is different from the traditional different webs. And it is not something very new, but it is taking care of what is already available in Web 3. So let's try to understand. Now, for everyone who is not aware of this term of Web 3.0, Web 5.0, let's try to understand what is Web 2.0. Web 2.0 is very simple. I'm not going to discuss in detail, but it is quite simple. We have a platform and we have a user. A user can be content consumer. A user can be content create. So it is moving in two directions. That is like you're watching my videos. I watch videos on YouTube and I can also share videos on YouTube like what is Web 5.0. So this is something what Web 2.0 decided now obviously if you want to dig deeper obviously this is a platform where you are dependent on it they can ban you they can remove your account and it's totally dependent upon what you are trying to do here now if we move to web 5.0 we have to understand like it is something which is sort of a subsequent addition to what web 3.0 was already offering so web 3.0 was what it was offering uh transparency if i may the ownership of data and like everyone can be participant of it and finally like no one is the owner of it no one was the owner of web 3.0 now if i talk about web 5.0 what web 5.0 is giving us it is giving us the opportunity to actually take care of what what actually belonged i'll give a very simple example let's say you're using a shopping application and you are planning to buy food items let's say you want to buy apple and you want to buy oranges now the thing is you are tied to this particular platform which is offering you all these details like you want to purchase apple you want to purchase orange let's say you want to purchase one kg of apple and one kg of oranges now the problem is if your account is banned you cannot take this data, obviously, whatever reference you have available in the email address or maybe SMS or maybe mobile phone that is only available. Now, this particular data is assigned to your particular identity. So if your identity vanished, you won't be able to access this particular piece of information. Or you won't be able to take it out. Now, obviously, this bit be this will be a bit difficult. So let's take in another example, a very simple example of social network. What is a social network? Social network is a collection of your images videos if i may your friends your likes and dislikes again a very simple example of likes dislikes now if the particular social network platform decides to block you they decides to remove your account you won't be able to take this data away obviously you can say i can download the data but that data will not be useful because obviously the data was uh, sort of pretty much integrated by, with this specific social network. So what Web 5.0 offers us that it offers you to take this data and this data is not dependent on a single platform. You can take this data from platform A and you can take this data to platform number B. That is it. You're not limited. So here you can switch from one platform to a different platform without worrying about your data. So Web 5.0, as Jack Dorsey says, is giving you an opportunity to actually take care of what your data is all about. So in simple terms, Web 5.0 is giving you an option of creating an identity which is with you. It is going to be stored in your personal location, in the particular wallet location. And that depends upon how the technology is evolving. But in short, you will be able to take your particular identity from one platform to the other platform. And all the data associated with that particular platform can be transferred to the other platform. And you can use that service seam seamlessly. So right now, if you're not able to switch your account, so let's say if you're currently using Instagram and there is a new social network which is coming up, obviously you have to create a new account. You have to find your friends. You have to find your life and dislikes and different stuff but with web 5.0 you will be able to take your identity from instagram to that different platform and you'll be able to transfer all your information from that particular platform so in near future what will be the possible advantages we will be getting with the web 5.0 
obviously you control your data which is quite simple which is actually i would not say it is part of web 5.0 it is actually part of web 3.0 then no vendor lock-in as i mentioned you are able to transfer your identity from one provider to the other provider so you're not limited to a particular vendor if you don't feel like that you want to use this particular vendor you can simply remove them after that your data is with you so this is very important you take your data, let's say you want to take it to data platform number A, so you can take it to platform A. You want to take to platform B, you can take it to platform B. If you want to take, you can take it to platform C. And everything will work in similar fashion. Because a social network is a social network, it can have a different UI, it can have a different UX, but ultimately that what it is. Let's say a music player like Spotify, if I may, you want to switch from Spotify to Apple Music. So obviously what will happen? You have to take out all the playlists from Spotify and you have to resync with Apple Music if they have this kind of a service. But ultimately with Web 5.0, you will be able to take your data from Spotify to Apple Music and vice versa and various different services. And finally, it is easy to switch from service one to service two because obviously they will be built compatible around your identity. So it is going to give you sort of a seamless experience to actually enjoy what you're using from platform A to platform B. So that's it for the video. In case if you have a question, obviously comment section is the right place for you. We will make sure that your answer is answered or I should say the question is answered. And if you have a career related doubt, you're not sure what is the right path for you or if you're looking for a specialized training, in that case, there is a link which is given in the description of this video. Put down your details and someone from our team will reach you and assist you with your career doubts so that your career growth is not halted.